Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team. In today's video, I'll show you how you can quickly and easily create a gigantic 2x2 video wall from any HDMI media source using a video wall generator like the O-Ray UHD-204VW. Now, showing your content on a gigantic display can be really impactful, but the challenge is, as the displays got larger, they also got much more expensive, which puts them outside of the budget for most projects. Now, the good news is, you can create a similar image on four monitors that are grouped together using a video wall generator like this. And essentially, what this product does is it splits that media stream into four separate quadrants and sends those individual media streams to the monitors so that together, they have a larger display. So it creates the image of a larger display with four smaller monitors. But there are a few things to keep in mind when you're searching for a video wall processor like this that can really impact the quality and what type of media you can display. Now, the first thing to keep in mind, and probably the most important consideration, is the resolution that the product can handle. Because when you're thinking about a larger display, a higher resolution is better because it eliminates a lot of the pixelization you get on lower quality displays. So the 204VW can fully support ultra high definition 4K content, which is pretty typical for most of the media streams you're gonna to wanna to display on a large monitor. So you're covered there. Another thing that's critical is how it actually displays the content. Because normally you'll group four monitors together to get one larger display, but there may be times that you wanna have one display on top, one display on the bottom, maybe one display on the left, and three more smaller displays next to it. So the choice of how that content is displayed on your grouping of monitors can be pretty critical. This gives you a wide variety of choices on how that eventual content makes its way to those monitors. Another key feature is local loopback functionality. This product allows you to send media to a grouping of four monitors while still monitoring it locally with a connection on the back. So you'll actually see the content you're sending to the remote monitors here at the actual video wall processor. And this unit can handle two inputs individually and allow you to switch between those inputs at will. And one other final consideration that the 204VW includes is network connectivity because there may be times where you want to control it from a distance to decide how your display is set up, what content is being sent to that display at a given period of time, and knowing I can connect this up to a LAN network or even direct connect through RS-232 to the back gives me complete control over exactly what's being displayed in that grouping of monitors. Now, if you stay tuned, I'll take a closer look at the uh, UHD 204VW here just to show you what this unit looks like and explain the connections and buttons and other things. And then I'll come back and actually show you a demonstration on just how easy it'll be to use a video wall processor like this in your own installations. And then I'll come back with some final thoughts at the end and a couple other things you can use to compare a product like this against others you may be considering. So stay tuned for the closer look. The O-Ray UHD-204VW video wall processor features a full metal enclosure, which makes it extremely durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. On the front of the unit are a series of indicators. Starting on the left is a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test to make sure all the electronics inside are working fine. When it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know it's ready to use. To the right of that are two input indicators, HDA and HDB. When you connect media sources up to the unit, the unit will actually check the resolution of that media source and make sure the cable is good. It'll light the indicator letting you know it sees both of those inputs. To the right of that are two loop indicators. You can actually connect monitors to the back of the unit, and I'll show you that in a minute, for local loopback monitoring of the content you're sending to your external monitors here. When you connect a monitor up, again, it'll check the resolution of the monitor, verify the connection, and light these LEDs, letting you know you have a solid connection to both monitors. To the right of that are your four output indicators. When you connect an HDMI cable from the unit to the monitors, it'll check the resolution of the monitor, make sure the connection's good, and then light each of these to let you know you have valid connections to the monitors. On the rear of the units where all the connections are made, I'll start on the left-hand side. This top section is for your network connectivity for remote control of the unit. You can connect it up to your LAN, or you can use an RS-232 connection directly to a computer, and you can control all the programming steps over that RS-232 connection or over the network. To the right of that is a micro USB port, and that's used for pushing firmware updates to the unit. Normally, you don't have to worry about that, but if new firmware comes out with new feature sets or improvements, you'll connect the cable up from here to your computer, push the firmware to the unit to do the update. To the right of that is an audio output port connection. You can either use balanced output, direct connections, a toss link over here for left and right if you're using optical output. On the bottom, you'll find two inputs here. These connect up to your two media devices, HDA and HDB. When you make that connection, the LED will come on on front. You have two loop out connections here. 
A monitors A, B monitors B. When you make the connection to the monitors, it'll check the connections and light the LEDs in the front to let you know you have a valid connection. Finally, there are four HDMI connections right here. These are outputs to your four monitors that you're gonna to gather together as your video wall display. So you'll make an HDMI connection from here to the monitor, it'll check the resolution, and then light the LED letting you know the connection's valid. Finally, to the right, there's a ground stud here if you want to connect it to earth ground, and then you have a power input port right there that you use with the included power supply. Once you make those connections and power up the unit, you can control everything over the network using the software. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use the O-Ray UHD-204VW video wall processor to create a gigantic video wall of your own. And for this demonstration, over here, I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video, and that's the media content that I'll display on my larger video wall using this video wall processor. Over here, I've got four monitors that are currently set up in a two by two grid to create my gigantic video wall. Now, when you're selecting your monitors, try to find ones with a really thin bezel around the outside of the display, and that'll help to minimize the lines that may become apparent if you get too close to the video wall. It'll also make that gigantic video wall look a lot more unified. Here I have the video wall processor and we're ready to make our connections. Now the first set of connections I'll make are the monitors to the four outputs on the back of the product. And it's important to remember that the video wall processor needs to understand which monitors connected up to which output because it's essentially taking the media stream and breaking it up into four different media streams to send each of those to the correct monitor to create that larger video wall. So in this case, this is output one, output two, output three, and output four. Now I've already connected up four HDMI cables to the monitors and I've labeled them. So I'll connect monitor one to output number one, monitor two to two, three to three, and finally four to four. And these are standard HDMI connections on the back. Use a high quality cable and you'll be all set. Now we're ready to connect our input and I've got the HDMI cable connected up to the video player and I'll connect it up to input A. Now, this unit has two inputs, A and B, and that's really nice because you can switch between them pretty easily to your larger display, or you can even split them so that A is on the top and B is on the bottom or vice versa, and there's a bunch of different configurations you can control on how those inputs are displayed on your larger video wall, but in this case, I'm gonna have one input to all four monitors as a unified display. Now we're all set to connect power. I've already plugged the power supply in, it's a standard barrel connector, plugs right into the power port in the back and I'll tighten the collar. Now the minute I add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test to check the electronics to make sure everything is working okay. Once it passes that test, it'll check the resolution of my input device and the resolution of my monitors, make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. Once it's finished that, there's your video. And it just was that quick to actually make those adjustments and send that video to those four monitors. And again, these monitors have a little thicker bezel on them so you can see those lines, but if you get pretty far away from it, they almost disappear. Now, one other cool feature that the 204 includes is a local loopback functionality, which means I can actually watch the media content here as I send it to that larger video wall. And I'll show you how that works. I've got a small monitor right here and it's got an HDMI connection on it. And there are two outputs, two local loop outputs a and B, I'll connect that up to A. And what you'll see here is what input is being sent to A is now displayed on this as well. And that's a really nice feature because it allows you to sort of monitor the content that you're sending, maybe downstream quite a ways away, to these larger displays here locally to make sure it's exactly what you expect to happen on that larger video wall. And it really is just that easy to set it up. I hope you found that closer look and demonstration helpful. Now here are a few things to keep in mind when comparing the O-Ray UHD-204VW to other video wall processors you may be considering. The first thing has to do with the resolution the product can support. The 204VW fully supports 4K ultra high definition content, and that's important because as the display gets larger, it tends to get grainier. So having a unit that'll support lower resolutions means you won't have that crisp image on the larger display. Knowing you can support 4K ultra high definition content means whatever media you send to those four monitors to create that video wall will always be crisp. Another key feature is having multiple inputs. A lot of the video wall processors on the market only have a single input, and that works okay if you're gonna to continue to distribute the same media content to those four displays, but having two inputs means you can easily switch between two different media streams to send to your video wall display. This unit supports two inputs. Another feature I like to look for is local loopback functionality, which allows me to enjoy the content at the video wall processor while I'm sending it downstream to create that larger video wall, and it allows me to make sure that the picture I'm sending downstream is exactly what I'm expecting. 
Another nice feature is network connectivity, which this unit provides. You can connect directly to the unit over an RS-232 connection, or you can connect it up to a LAN network as well and remotely control what's going on with the video wall processor. And that's really important because otherwise I've got to be right at the unit to make the changes I need to for the displays downstream, knowing I can touch it on my network and make whatever configuration changes are needed over the network really simplifies the installation and operation. So all those things considered together really will help you decide whether the O-Ray UHD-204VW is the right video wall processor for you when you compare it to another unit. So I hope you found this video helpful, and until next time, thanks for watching.